and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Paul Nisi, on SA's only democracy game show. Hello, bon appetit, everyone, and welcome. Without you, democracy cannot flourish. But the question is, how much do you know about democracy? Well, we'll find out soon enough on the game show where you put your vote to work. This is The Right to Win. You're on SABC2, where you belong. Six candidates, four rounds, but only two will campaign for the audience's vote in order to win the cash prize of 10,000 rands. Well, our candidates need to be fast, cool under pressure, and be able to work in teams. Unfortunately, this is a game show, and the lowest scoring points will see you being eliminated. Hmm? And since this is the right to win, you, the audience, stand a chance to win a smartphone, and, uh, well, the viewer, you get to win a tablet. So, everyone goes out a winner, yes? So, are you ready? Let's meet our candidates. Stembiso, what is it that you do for a living, sir? I'm currently a communications officer. I'm working for an international NGO in Pretoria. Tandiswa, 20 years on yeah. into our democracy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're happy about it? Bring it on. Yes? Yeah. Big man, Kululego. You look uh, like a student. No, I'm not a student. I work for Word of Mouth Productions. Okay. Diviash, the coolest candidate amongst uh, everybody, yeah? Thanks, man. You know, the chain, the hair. You. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're self-employed, I understand. Yes, I'm self-employed. All right, so what is it uh, that you do, uh, Aleta? I'm a facilitator. At the moment, I'm freelancing for an organization called Lead for Life. Umano, last but not least, the last man standing. And what is it that you do? I'm an HR consultant for Emna Gold Asante. Mm, so you're into the mining bit of things, yes? That is it. Give them a round of applause. We've met our candidates. Candidates, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? All right, uh, this is how it works. You all have two multiple choice questions each. There's 10 points per question, and uh, you can get a maximum of 20 points. Now, the four candidates with the highest scores qualify to go through to the next round. The two candidates, however, who get the lowest scores will be eliminated. Uh -huh. Let the games begin. Stembi, so are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, your question, sir. What is South Africa's national anthem called? Is it A, Ukos Sigalili Afrika? B, the stem from South Africa? Or C, God Save the Queen? It's A, Ukos Sigalili Afrika. A, Ukos Sigalili Afrika is correct. Tell me, sir. In what year were the first democratic elections held? Is it A, 1993, B, 1994, or C, 1995? It's B, B. 1994. That is correct. Good man, Kunle. Here comes your question. Which two teams traditionally compete at the Soweto Soccer Derby? Is it A, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs? Is it B, Orlando Pirates and Ajax Cape Town? Or Kaiser Chiefs and Super Sports United? Uh, the, the answer is A. The answer is A. Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. And yeah, that is true, right? Yes. Here's your question. What is the most southern point in South Africa? And in fact, the continent. Is it A, Cape Agalis, B, Cape Point, or C, Robben Island? Obviously B, Cape Point. And that is incorrect. We move on to a letter. A letter. What is the national bird of South Africa? Is it A, the blue crane? Is it B, the secretary bird? Or C, the ostrich? It's A, the blue crane. Is correct. Dumano. <laughs> South Africa is a A association B union or C republic C republic <laughs> Don't joke around yeah <laughs> yes he's correct and as we look at the scores all my candidates are safe and secured with uh, 10 points each except uh, DVS of course on to the second round Stembiso back at you man how many fundamental freedoms are contained in the Bill of Rights? Is it A, 20? Is it B, 15? Or C, 30? 
A20. A20, you say? Yes. It is incorrect. Turn this one. What kind of democracy do we have in South Africa? Is it A, a consensus democracy, B, constitutional democracy, C, a liberal democracy? It's B, constitutional. It's correct. And of course, we love our constitution, one of the best in the world. Good luck. Yes, sir. Who designed the new South African flag? Is it A, the state, Herald? Or B, a member of the public? Could be C, a design student? I'll go with A. It's correct. Diviash, you need to catch up. On which document is the South African constitution based? Is it A, the Freedom Charter? B, the Atlantic Charter? Or C, Charter of the United Nations? A, the Freedom Charter. It's correct, 10 points. Aleta, what is the name of South Africa's highest award for excellence and exceptional achievement? Is it A, the Order of the Baobab? B, the Order of Mapungu? Or C, the order of Ultu. I would say C, the order, the order of Lutuli. It's incorrect. Stay on 10 points there. Dumelo. Papa. All right. This is the last question on uh, this round. On the 27 years that Nelson Mandela spent in prison, how many of those were on Robben Island? Is it A, 17, B, 18, or C, 19? I'll go with A. Is incorrect. Well, it looks like we have a sudden death situation on our hands. I ask a question. Multiple choice, of course. First finger or hand to the buzzer, you get the option of uh, answering. And if it is correct, you're safe. Simple enough? Yes. Yep. Are we ready? Yes. Where did the Orange River get its name? Is it A, the orange color of the water? B. The House of Orange, that's the Dutch Royal House, or C, the oranges that grow on its banks? Alita. I think it's option B. You're safe. Automatically, you go through to the next round. Ibiash, Dumelo, Stembiso. What was marathon runner and Olympic gold medalist Joshua Tungwane's occupation? Was he A? A web designer, B, a coal miner, or C, a security guard? Stemis. It was a coal miner. Is incorrect. Option C. Yes, Duman. Option, Option C. C. He's correct. We go through to the final round. So there you go. Two more are safe, and we'll have to say goodbye to Stembiso and DVH. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us on the show. All the best. Now, before we go to the next round, studio audience, it's your time to win. I'll ask you one multiple choice question. You vote by using the clickers, and you can press either one, two, or three. The fastest correct answer stands a chance to win a smartphone. Question two will come later on the show and I'll announce the results right at the end. Are you guys ready? Yes. Here comes forth the question. How many political parties were represented in the first cabinet of the government of national unity? Is it A, two? Is it two, three? Or three, four? Please click in your options. Okay, voting is now closed. All your answers have been locked. The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is option two, which is three. I see some happy faces. I see <laughs> some not so happy faces, but you'll have to uh, wait uh, for the next question to know if you are indeed a winner. On to round number two. The four contestants are in two teams and they'll be playing Unscramble the Puzzle. Now, uh, the scrambled image is uh, one of the milestones of the 20 years of our democracy. 
In each team, one candidate searches for the clues, the other one works the puzzle. Now the first team that completes uh, their puzzle with the correct description will win this round. Your time starts now. Welcome back. You're watching The Right to Win on SABC2, a game show where you put your votes to work. And on this round, round two, as you can see, the scores have been reset. Now, four candidates remain, and they are in two teams. Now, in each team, one unscrabbles a picture. Now, the other one is looking through the clues, trying to identify the picture. The first team to unscramble the image and correctly describe the event wins. Now, the losing team will lose one person. Let's see how they do it. How's it going over here? Good luck. How's it going? Yeah. Let's not forget a lucky audience member will walk away with a smartphone and you at home will also win a tablet every week. So wait uh, for the question right at the end of the show. It looks like uh, Team B on this hand have uh, completed their puzzle. Guys, I need uh, to know what the event looks like to you. What was taking place there at the time? This was when Nelson Mandela was, was like presented to the nation. Um, when he was to be ordained. Ordained, ordained. Yeah. That is incorrect, guys. Team A, yes, finish sir. your puzzle. Mm -hmm. and possibly give us uh, your answer if you can. Okay. Thank Let's you. see how they fare off. What is it? Now if Team A gets this one wrong as well, we'll have to go into a sudden death situation. What? <laughs> what event do we see? That is when uh... No, the ANC had just recently won the, the elections. When Nelson Mandela was in, inaugurated as South, as, as South Africa's first democratically elected president. Is it elections or is it an inauguration? When he was inaugurate, in, uh, inaugurated as South Africa's first democratically elected president. Congratulations! <laughs> you move closer to the final round. The losing team, Team B, only one of you can go through to the next round. Now, uh, this will be determined by a sudden death round. Now, this round will determine which one of you qualifies to go through to the next round and which one of you gets disqualified. Now, the fastest hand on the buzzer gets to answer the question first. Question is, who was Mandela's deputy president at the time of this very photo that you've just unscrambled. Dumelo, your buzzer's up first. It was Thabo Mbeki. I'm afraid it needs to be both. At the time, it was in fact De Klerk and Thabo Mbeki. Okay. It's incorrect. Right, next question, guys. Same-sex marriages are legal in South Africa. True or false? Alita? It's true. It's what? It's true. Same-sex marriages are legal in South Africa. It is true. Congratulations, Alita. You move on to the next round. We have to unfortunately say goodbye to uh, Tumelo. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Please give him a round of applause. Well, three candidates remain. Only two will be allowed uh, to campaign for the audience's votes. Who will ultimately win the 10,000 rand? <laughs> Getting closer to checkpoints. Candidates in this round. You have to accumulate as many points as you possibly can in one and a half minutes to make it to the final. Now, the fastest hand on the buzzer answers first. It gets you 10 points, but a wrong answer could cost you those 10 points. Remember, the lowest score 
loses their chance to win 10,000 rands, but the highest score, wow, there's an added bonus in fact. <laughs> Find out after the pressure cooker. How are you feeling? Oh, nervous for. <laughs> All right, let's go. The voting system we use in South Africa is proportional representation. Is that true or false? Okay, Aleta. Mm, I would say false. You'll say false. That is incorrect. How does a citizen of South Africa show active citizenship during the elections? Good luck. Uh, by registering to vote. I'm afraid not. By voting. By voting. Yeah. Who's the soccer team Kaiser Chiefs named after? It's the owner Kaiser Mutaum. That is indeed correct. What is the name of the arts festival held in Grahamstown, South Africa in July every year? Go ahead, Aleta. Um, the Grahamstown Arts Festival. That is correct, in fact. Well done. <laughs> Voters have the right to a secret vote. True or false? Tanisa. True. It is true. How many houses is the South African Parliament split into? Go ahead, Tandiswa. Three. Three is incorrect. You're looking for two. What is the name of the actor who played Nelson Mandela in the film? Kulo. In the uh, Idris Elba. Idris Elba is correct. What is the name of the only street in the world where two noble... Aleta? Villagazi Street. Villagazi Street Soweto, correct. Time is up, ladies and gentlemen. Aleta, congratulations. You go through to the next round. Ulego and uh, Tandi Iswa. You guys will have to go into a, a sudden death. Your scores will be reset round about now. Okay, here comes a question. How many deputy presidents do we have in South Africa according to the constitution? One. One. One is correct. Congratulations. <laughs> we unfortunately have to say goodbye to Tandi. So Tandi, so thank you so much uh, for joining us on the show. We wish you well. And as an affectionate hug, we just uh, so. All right.